Hi there. Today we are going to have some fun. We are going to hook our VCR up to our computer so we can watch or even record what is on our old tapes and save them as video files on our computer. For all of you VHS enthusiasts out there, don't worry. I am not telling you to get rid of your tapes, but having a digital copy is a good idea since the VHS tape life expectancy is normally only 10 to 25 years. Plus it makes sharing your old content much easier. So first let's cut the crap and get straight to what you care about, the items and cost of this project. Assuming you already have a VCR, if you follow this video and use the product links I have in the details you will have to spend a maximum of $50. You will also have to download and use a free software called OBS Studio. Don't be a boomer, the software is free, easy to use and it is needed so your computer can display and record the VCR content. Obviously you need a VCR. I bought this gem for $79 on Black Friday at Walmart over 20 years ago and it is still going strong. This is the one I will use in today's video, you just follow along with yours. The next item you should recognize because you needed this to connect your VCR to your TV back in the day. This is a RCA composite audio video cable. Make sure you are using yellow, red and white cables. Some people want to cut corners and try red, blue and green cables but those are just for video not audio. I got the General Electric ones pictured here on Amazon for $6.82. But if you have one already, then pull that bad boy out and use it. This gadget is called a RCA to HDMI converter. This is going to allow our VCR to send audio and video data to our computer. This one is currently $15.99 on Amazon. This next gizmo is called a video capture card. This is going to allow our VCR to connect to the computer. It is the most expensive item you will need. This one cost me $19.99 on Amazon. I have the link to these items in the description of this video and I recommend these specific ones because I know they work. If you like playing with fire and want to try a different brand go for it but don't come crying to me later if you are unsuccessful. The last thing you need is something you probably already have, and that is just a simple HDMI cable. I am using an Amazon Basics one I got for about $6. We have all the hardware we need. Now we need software so our computer can display the VHS content. I recommend OBS Studio because it is an industry standard recording and streaming software. There is no account needed, you don't have to give them any information, simply download and run it. I am also cheap, and this one is totally free and I find it easiest to use. While OBS is available for Mac operating systems I am not 100% sure this process will work if you are a Mac user. I am a Windows user and that is the process I am showing in this video. So now we have everything we need and we have spent less than $50. Let's get the party started and start connecting our VCR. First thing we need to do is take the RCA cable and plug one end of it into the back of your VCR. Look closely you should see line out sockets as well as line in. Once you find the line out sockets, simply connect yellow to yellow, white to white, red to red. Next you will take the other end of your RCA cable and connect it to the input side of your RCA to HDMI converter. Again yellow to yellow, white to white, red to red. You're doing great. If you look at your RCA to HDMI converter you will see an option to adjust your quality from either 1080p or 720p. You can set this according to your preference. The USB cable that powers the converter needs to be plugged in. Note, it does not have to be plugged into your computer, any USB power plug will work as we just need to get it power. The next step is simple, we are just going to plug our HDMI cable into the HDMI output on the converter. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I always have some wise guy who asks if this next step is really needed and the answer to that is yes. We have to take the other end of our HDMI cable and connect it to our video capture card. You might have guessed the next step since we are running out of things not plugged in. Take the USB output of the video capture card and plug it into a USB port on your computer. 
I am using a laptop, but it should not matter whether you are a desktop or laptop user as long as you have a USB port. The final hardware step is to plug your VCR into a wall outlet. We are now ready to get on our computer and use the OBS Studio software to watch and or record our VHS content. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this video, I hope you will take a second to click the like button and subscribe so you can check out any content I put out in the future. Also take a look at my setup and the steps we just went through. Your setup should be as shown. If it is not, stop here and revisit the steps we just went over. Now that we have verified everything is connected correctly, let's get on our computer and open OBS Studio. There are a few settings in OBS Studio I recommend reviewing. First click File, then Settings, then Output. Under the Recording section you will see a Recording Path option. This is the location on your computer where any recordings you take from your VHS tapes will be stored. You can click Browse to choose a different location. Also take note of the Recording Quality and Recording Format options. The higher the recording quality the better your recorded videos will look, but they will also be larger files. Just for reference I use indistinguishable quality, large file size as my option. A 1 hour and 15 minute video was 28 gigabytes on my hard drive. Another setting worth checking out is under File, Settings, Video. Here you can adjust your aspect ratio. You will see that 16 by 9 is the default. There are some drop down options as well. With VHS, a lot of people want 4 by 3 aspect ratio. If you want that, you can simply type 960 by 720 in both the base and output resolutions. You will see now the aspect ratio is 4 by 3. Personally, I like 16 by 9, so that is the setting I am going to leave mine on. There are lots of more advanced settings in OBS, but these are the main ones worth looking at when getting started. Look in the bottom section of the main page. You will see an option for sources. Here is where we need to tell OBS how to look for our VCR. We are going to simply click the plus button to add a new source. Then in the drop down list that appears, choose Video Capture Device. Normally here I recommend clicking play on your VCR although it is not a requirement. By having your VCR playing it makes it a little easier to find the source because you will actually see the VHS content. Today I am not going to click play just to show you what it looks like without your VCR playing. Under create new we can rename our source. I am going to simply call mine VCR. If you are just connecting your VCR you probably don't care about the name. However you can hook up lots of other items down the road and use OBS to view them, so for that reason I think it is cleaner to name each source accordingly. Click OK to add our source. Hopefully next you will see a blue screen and your device will be set to USB video. If it is not simply click the drop down arrow and choose USB video. If you are not seeing USB video listed here then you have done something wrong and might want to go back and review the steps in this video. If you are on USB video but are not seeing a blue screen click on a different device, then click back to USB video to see if it does not refresh your display. That blue screen you see is actually your VCR. It is blue because remember in this example we did not click play on our VCR. Had we done that we would actually be seeing our VHS tape playing right now. Let's click OK at the bottom to complete adding our VCR source. This part can be a little tricky and might require some playing around with. Click Settings in the bottom right corner, then click Audio in the menu column. Because your computer can have headphones, webcams, etc. connected to it, what you see here might look different than mine. We need to choose the correct audio device for our VCR. This is going to control whether you can hear your VCR or not. There are a lot of advanced things you can do in here, but I am going to try to keep it as basic as possible. In my case I am going to click Mic Auxiliary Audio and choose Digital Audio Interface, to USB, Digital Audio. Click OK and the bottom to confirm the selection. This is a setting you might need to come back to and play around with once your VCR is playing because then you can actually tell if your audio is working. 
Next, you will now see the mic slash AUX audio mixer source that you just added. Here you can adjust the volume or mute it if you choose. There are three dots to the right, click those, then choose advanced audio properties. Next to the mic slash AUX source, change the value from monitor off to monitor and output. This will allow you to not only see what you are watching but also to hear it. If you leave this on monitor off you would see the VHS content, but would only hear the audio during the recorded playback. Now it is time for the moment of truth. Click play on your VCR. If everything is set up right you should both see and hear your VHS content playing from your VCR. ...was an all-pro flanker for the Cleveland Browns and scored six touchdowns in one game, a record that still hasn't been broken. Oh snap! It worked like a charm. You will see and hear exactly what your VCR is playing, so if you are rewinding or fast-forwarding you will see that. If there are tracking lines in your tapes, you will see that. Copyrighted tapes should play and display just fine. I stopped my tape for the moment. If you were successful in seeing and hearing your VHS tapes now would be a great time to like this video. I don't like asking for likes, but the likes help my video to be found by others who come along later looking for a solution to watch and record their old VHS tapes. So now you can watch and listen to your VHS tapes on your computer. The last thing I wanted to show you was how to record. It is pretty simple, note you do not have to record. If you want to just sit and watch your tapes on your computer, that is perfectly fine. Should you wish to record, while your tape is playing simply click start recording. Once you are finished recording, click stop recording. Your video file will be saved in the same location that we looked at earlier under our OBS settings. If you forgot where that setting is, it is File, Settings, Output, Recording Path. Recording from your VCR can be tricky. Some people choose to record a whole tape at a time. This is fine but the file size will be large, and you will have to use video software to edit the large video clip if it contains things you don't want. The other option is to just start and stop recording as needed when you find content you want to keep. I will pull up the recording I just did so you can see what the quality is like. Sweet sassy molassy, so now we still have our old VHS tapes but we also have a digital copy that we will have forever and is much easier to share with others. Just a reminder the Amazon links to all of the items in this video are posted in the video description on YouTube. Using my links helps my channel so I hope you will use those, but if you want to shop around I totally understand. If this video helped you, I hope you will leave a comment and let me know. If you are having issues post a comment and we will try to help you out. Thanks for watching, enjoy watching your old VHS tapes.